Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading that's dated for the 23rd of uh, April, does not mean it absolutely has to resonate at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, all right? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Don't mind me, I'm just distracted because I found something weird on my desk and I did not want it there, so I picked it off. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, so I apologize for yesterday. Yesterday was a day, okay? Like it was a fucking day, y'all. Like. It was fine in the morning. I got through morning coffee and everything was okay. And then I started to settle in for, you know, the rest of my day. I had two readings. Well, I thought I had two readings scheduled. I actually only had one reading scheduled. And then I was planning on doing morning coffee. But both of those readings, one was, that was my fault. It was scheduled for the wrong time. And then the second one, we got mixed up on the timing. So it didn't work out, but it ended up being okay because when I sat down to meditate yesterday to really just get myself in the zone <clears throat> and prepared for the rest of the day, that's when I sunk. I mean, and I sunk hard, you guys. It was interesting, but I had been experiencing something, a, a sensation all day that actually started the night before. It started Monday night. Monday night, I, I, I couldn't sleep and I had this really intense headache. Um, which was weird. And so then I went, I finally, I got to sleep and I woke up and everything was okay. But then when I settled back into that meditation yesterday, everything started to explode. <laughs> Basically, like I started to unravel in some ways. And okay, so I do want to talk about this because this is something that I discussed with someone in a private reading. Obviously, I'm not going to go into their details, but it's something that came up that I had been experiencing. And there seems to be a resurgence of shit <laughs> a lot of, a lot of stuff from our past that maybe we thought we had dealt with maybe we had adequately dealt with in the past however there's a lot that's coming up again um um for reassessment um i know what happened with me is that <clears throat> there have been a lot of things that are that have been re or surfacing now that i kind of i guess had put a bandage on that's kind of what i heard my higher self say just now but at the same time um i'm noticing that as i'm 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 cycling through this stuff again i, ha I do have a unique opportunity to see just how far i've come because a lot of the things that i've been experiencing as like a resurgence of some sort of purge um are things that i dealt with or mindsets that i found myself in earlier earlier much earlier in life and i did have at one point a unique point of view to look at this and say wow actually first of all i haven't thought about things this way in a very long time and second of all i've come very very far and so what i was explaining to this person in their private reading was that you know there's a there's there's an opportunity for us to reassess, to go within and to deal with things and, you know, to put like a final end cap or even more of a layer of, of um, polish on it, I guess you could say. Now, on top of that, with us being in this lockdown quarantine for literally the foreseeable future, okay, I don't think any of us can see when this is going to actually let up. Um, but that's creating a lot of depressive energy. People can't do the things that they normally can do or they normally should, I guess they feel they normally should do or normally would do. Um, I know for me, being in quarantine doesn't really bother me that much. I basically live in quarantine, like not even gonna lie. Like I, I love to just stay in my room and keep to myself. But for me, it's it's gotten different. It's gotten to the point where it's like, okay, yeah, I like quarantine, but the 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 the, the difference between now and then is that first of all, I had the choice to stay home and not associate and not socialize with people, right? Okay. But two, I also had the ability to go out and do whatever it is I need to do without a hassle. And like <laughs> to this morning, today, I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, what am I gonna have for breakfast today? Or what am I gonna, well, I could do dinner, but what am I gonna have for breakfast today? I need to go to the store. And part of me is like, I would much rather not eat than have to go and wait in line for 35 minutes to an hour just to get into a grocery store. You know, like that's not me complaining so much as just stating like a sense of defeat <laughs> it's like a oh. so yesterday um 
emotionally things weren't the best but then i had this sensation in my head it was like it was really weird and by like around i, I chilled i was really chilling for the most of the day me and noah one of my roommates whom if you guys have been watching happy hour lately you would know you would know him one of my roommates noah he and i decided to watch all the marvel movies in chronological order which has been a fantastic idea don't get me wrong i love the marvel movies i love comic books i love all that shit and superheroes heroes and all that it's it's rad man but but by like we went we watched two movies yesterday we were about to watch a third um if you're wondering i'm i'm watching these in chronological order and i've gotten we've gotten through spider-man last night so like we're almost we're getting to the end of the list but we watched two of the movies yesterday and then i was like i need to take a nap because the sensation in my head was so extreme like i literally thought i was going to fall asleep but then as soon as i laid down to like take this nap i felt an extreme extreme pressure in my i'm i'm pointing at it like you guys can see me but in my third eye and like here i'll show you it's like literally it was like right there it's not just that hi guys it's not just like you know the the little point it was all like this whole space it just it felt like it was growing it felt like there was something expanding within it and i kept asking spirit what is going on and they were like it's an upgrade eric it's, it's an upgrade just sit back and just chill just relax through this taking a nap is actually a great idea because that's going to help us so i was like okay i woke up from the nap and i felt better um, I still felt a kind of a little bit weird and watched the movie and went to sleep, but I don't know. Other than what my my guides told me yesterday, I have no idea what's going on. I feel like there there's a okay. Spirit just said there's a massive collective upgrade that's happening now. With that, I, I want to say, don't necessarily look for any real results right now. The change at the moment, the 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 um, spirit just said the molecular. The molecular what spirit the, the molecular shift um is change is happening um but you're going to need to take some time to allow things to set in oh my god it's seven minutes already holy moly but so that's what happened yesterday all right if any of you guys at least for me so if any of you guys were feeling that and i know i posted on the community tab and a lot of you said you know you were feeling something similar or at least you were feeling a lot of resistance a lot of roadblocks please share <laughs> share because we're all in this together okay um so as far as happy hour goes um i can't do it tonight because i have to catch up for what i missed up on yesterday and i have to do what i have scheduled today um but actually i could do it friday but i'm thinking saturday afternoon would be really really fun so happy hour is going to move to saturday um i have an appointment at 11 o'clock uh because a friend of mine is helping me learn spanish but um I'm thinking we can do it like around noon, maybe one o'clock. Stay tuned. I might even put out a, a post in the community tab as a little a little poll to see what time you guys would prefer. But we're, I'm definitely thinking afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, okay? And as it feels right now, I may hang out for longer than the normal, you know, 10 readings because it's middle of the afternoon. It's not the end of my day. And it'll be a time for us to all hang out and have some fun. Okay, so I'm actually really looking forward to that. So Saturday, this coming Saturday, what is that? That's the 25th of April. Keep your eyes peeled for a specific time. Yeah? Alrighty, kids. Now that we're almost 10 minutes into the reading, into the video, let's, let's get into it and see what the cards have for us today. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Um, I do want to say, I'm going to give this three. You know what? I'm going to give this four shuffles today. Um, but I do want to say that that feeling in my head had actually been building up for a few days. It wasn't something that just hit me all of a sudden. It had been building for a, a, a number of days. And it was it's weird. I still... 
I still kind of feel it. It's this strange sensation in the center of my my head where it just it feels like it almost feels like there's an earthquake happening. It's so it's so strange, you guys. That's really the only way I can describe it. There's like an earthquake in my head and it's not even a migraine. It's not even painful. It's just uncomfortable, unsettling, you know? It's very strange. Very, very strange. Ascension symptoms? Yeah, probably. All right, that's enough. So let's see what we've got for the day. What is on the docket, spirit? What you got for us today, please? There's judgment again. <laughs> Holy moly. All right. Damn. Okay. The tower. Seven of cups. Yep. Okay. That's enough. We're going to stop there. Overall energy is the six of cups. Okay. Yes. So what the six of cups is giving me is nostalgia. It's giving me um, memories, feelings from the past. And what we have, here we go, we have the awakening, we have the ascension, we have renewal, or in this deck, this is also um, the same as uh, judgment, I believe. Uh, we have renewal, we have the tower, 1111, and then we also have the seven of cups. And in this deck, the tower is called life experience. So, um, and it's very interesting because in my morning today, I was kind of having this thought of, well, while I was in the thought process of being like, oh my God, I think I would rather just not eat than have to go out to the store right now. My next natural thought was, holy shit, when is this all going to end? And this is kind of the energy that I'm feeling here. But what this is a little more specific to you and your life, your path, your own uh, personal journey. We have judgment with life experience, and then we have that with the seven of cups. So the tower and, and judgment, um, which is, this feels like a review process. This does in fact feel like the energy that I was picking up on or what I was channeling about how there's an upgrade happening. There's, there's deeper purging that's going on because of the fact that we have <clears throat> so much time to ourselves. We have little, we have much less now than we did in the past to distract us we're actually able to really to really f go into things deeper than we have before um keep it a, a lot less surface level than i used to be um and sure you could have a bunch of things around you in your life that could distract you but at this point i know i'm feeling this way so I'm, i can only imagine a bunch of other feel people are feeling this way it's like all of our choices all of our options are being um, worn out or are, you know, becoming, are, are being worn out. It's like, you know, the things that you normally would do to keep yourself occupied, you're probably running out of options at this point, or you're probably getting so sick of doing those things. It's like, I need something new. I need something more. And spirit goes, well, okay, okay here you go. Why don't you look at this? <laughs> Gee, thanks, Spirit. But honestly, this is part of the whole upgrade that's happening throughout the planet. And yes, it is in the form of this virus and the complete global or economic shutdown, whatever you want to call it. But the Seven of Cups here is also giving an energy of confusion. Again, when is this going to end? We have the Six of Wands, ooh, and we have the Five of Swords. Hello, thank you very much, Spirit. That is fantastic. This is a victory over self-sabotage. This is a victory over the things that have held you back. This is a victory over um, leaving yourself behind is what I just heard. And it's not even about leaving yourself out in the cold. It's literally walking away from yourself and in many cases, putting a knife in your own back. Now, don't don't get me wrong. It's not like you're trying to, you know, commit suicide or something like that god no um it's more of an energy of the indoctrination it's more of an energy of believing other people's viewpoints or opinions over your own and i understand that there is a level of that that is necessary as we are growing especially when we're kids because we learn about the world around us through the adults around us through the other living people in that world right so there's a level of indoctrination that has to be accepted at certain points in life mainly very early on in life but as you get older you get more and more of a choice to either continue with that indoctrination five of swords or to break free the six of wands and what i feel here is we are in fact breaking free we have the opportunity to find victory over this self-sabotaging energy, okay? 
I mean, read this card. Okay, this card says, walk away from, um, wait, hold on, let's, let's, let's focus here. Walk away from dishonest associations, realizing that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness. Something is not worth the effort. It's not worth the fight. Put the swords down. I mean, what are you even fighting for anymore? Uh, no, no, literally ask yourself that some pe someone, either a number of people or somebody specific needs to ask themselves, what exactly are you fighting for anymore? Are you fighting to keep up the appearance? Are you fighting to, are you fighting to prop up an old outdated system that this period was specifically designed to break us free from? Do you realize that when we do break free of this quarantine, this lockdown, this shutdown, things are not going to be the same. And you might think, oh no, it's, it's all just going to go back to normal. Mm, we'll think about it this way. It can't just automatically go back to normal, can it? I mean, that's not what the doctors and, and scientists are telling us, right? So how do you expect, like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say hey or nay, yay or nay. Okay. But I'm, I'm, I'm saying like, let's think about this logically here. What exactly are you fighting for? Because you know for a fact that even once this all this lockdown and all that is lifted, people are still going to be apprehensive. People are not necessarily going to want to go out in droves the way they have in the past. I mean, it's not going to... This shutdown is so much more than it seems to be. This is not... And I'm not trying to instill fear in anybody. I'm not trying to spread fear. I'm just asking you guys, someone. I'm asking someone here to be 100% completely, truly, blunt, blatantly honest with yourself. Do you really think we're just going to, at the snap of a finger, everybody's going to turn around and get up and go back to work and everything's just going to be normal? There is a new sense of normal that's coming into play here. And that's why we're going through all of this extra, extra purging. Although it seems like it's extra purging, it's purging. It's not. It's actually right on time. It's par for the course. Because this is the time period that we're in right now. I know for me personally, I've felt way less productive or I'm sorry, I felt way less motivated to be productive right now than I have ever been. And, and I'm a Taurus, okay? I can be pretty fucking lazy. Like, let's call a spade a spade. But at the same time, it's like, this is just a little unnatural. But it's mainly because everything is shut down. This is a time for reflection. This is a time for introspection. And that seems to be what's happening here. <clears throat> okay. All right. So let's go a little bit deeper into this. I want to start by clarifying the Five of Winter, or in other words, the Five of Swords. One last shuffle here. And then let's talk about the Five of Winter. Why is the Five of Winter here, please, Spirit? The Magician with the Queen of Cups. So, the Queen of Cups is representing emotional awareness. The Magician is representing manifesting a new way in association with that emotional awareness. There's also, with this emotional awareness or with this Queen of Cups energy, there's also a level of compassionate, unconditional love that I feel is seeping into places that it actually never was in the past or you felt like it never could have ever existed Oof, we have the seven of wands here but we also have the ace of swords all right there is definitely a level with the seven of wands the seven of wands are boundary the seven of wands represents boundaries um coupled with the eight of swords it's like you know exactly what you're doing here or at least you have the truth the wisdom the knowledge and the understanding to put some sort of boundary some sort of some sort of barrier or blockage between you and this destructive energy. I'm hearing self-destructive energy and you're manifesting your way out of it uh, guided by emotional awareness, emotional grounding. I'm even hearing emotional responsibility. I normally see that more in the King of Cups, but I'm definitely getting that mature type of energy with the Queen of Cups here. It's like you're manifesting, you're, you're working on, or you're beginning to manifest from a much more compassionate place. And don't get, and, and don't, do not feel bad if that stronger sense of compassion and empathy and understanding and unconditional love is directed at yourself first. Ideally, that's the way it needs to be. Because if you're going to be of service to anybody, if you're going to show up in any sort of way that's different to the way you did in the past, then you have to change your inner reality first. You've got to handle you first. Okay. So don't feel bad if there's a level of 
selfishness. Six of wands, six of spring. All right, let's look at this now. What's going on with this six of spring, please, spirit? Ah, the queen of pentacles now. My, my, my. Let's get a little bit more on this. We, okay, well, we do have the chariot at the bottom of the deck so far. So what this is saying here is there, this is speaking to a level of understanding exactly who you are and exactly what you're worth. Maybe not exactly who you are, but from a, because that can encompass, you know, understanding exactly who you are encompasses so much more than just the physical reality of who you are. And the Queen of Pentacles is, is in fact speaking to the physical reality, your physical manifestation, your physical body, um, your physical... You guys, it's snowing. Oh, geez. It was such a beautiful day yesterday. I sw I'm sorry, this is such a freaking sidebar, but I literally just looked out my, my, I looked out my window and there are snowflakes falling. It was a nice, warm, sunny day yesterday. Was yesterday the day... Did we have the thunderstorms yesterday? No, we didn't. That was Monday. But it's freaking snowing right now. You guys. Oh, you guys, I give up. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, anyway, back to what I was saying. The Queen of Pentacles is, in fact, representing your physical life right now, your physical representation and the material, all that encompasses that in the material world for you. But there is a sense of understanding your worth I'm hearing knowing what it is you truly want in life, not really be allowing yourself to stoop down to anything less, okay? And you are, in fact, moving forward quite well, all right? Quite well. Now, what I do want to say is there is masculine energy here in the magician. You could even, I wouldn't call the chariot purely masculine energy because I see the chariot as, a, as the balance between masculine and feminine. But what I'm saying here is that you have these two queens, the queen of pentacles, the queen of cups that are kind of leading the way. And I'm picking up on an energy of leading the way and setting the stage internally. From there, you are able to manifest in the external. However, I don't want, I don't want, want any of you to think that you have to go through any sort of extreme measures, measures right now to take any sort of extreme action or, or strong action, I guess you could say, to make something happen, to make something appear physically right now. This is a time this is a prime time for us to get our internal realities in greater shape. And I am no stranger to this. I am struggling with this as well. Because for me, it's like this energy of I, 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 I feel the things, I go into meditation, I sit with it, and it just doesn't seem to end. But that's an illusion. So don't get caught up on that, okay? It's gonna end. You're gonna find the peace. You just have to get yourself through it as best you can, all right? Don't block it. Don't fight it. None of that, because that's only going to make it harder for you. Yes? I want to go a little bit deeper. What else can you tell us about the Six of Spring, please, Spirit? With this Queen of Pentacles here so far. Six of Spring. Ah, the Hierophant. Interesting. Um, the Hierophant is feeling like a graduation. I'm not going to... Yeah, there you go. There you go. It is a graduation with three of cups at the bottom of the deck. At the bottom of the deck is the nine of cups. All right. And as some of you, I am feeling it's like, okay, you're seeing the nine of cups and you're like, whoa, this is not my wish fulfillment. This is not satisfaction. Like I am not like I am so far from satisfaction right now that that card is lying to me. And at the same time, it's not. It's actually telling you the truth because there is a sense of satisfaction. What I'm getting here is that for the most part, there is a, a level of spiritual foundation. I'm kind of seeing the four of wands energy that is giving you the springboard to, to, to dive into certain things that you may not have been, uh, been able to dive into before. All right. That's what this graduation is. The Hierophant with the three of cups as soon as the hierophant came out it was i felt graduation but it was in terms of teaching and learning learning some really intense lessons and now you have the three of cups here spirit is congratulating you for your effort for the job well done um and is also asking me or i'm getting an image with this three of cups of spirit saying this is a time for you to just rest and chill because yeah work's gonna have to start back up at some point okay 
But right now, this is a period for you to celebrate. This is a period for you to recognize all of the ways that you have grown, that you have been victorious. That look at how far you've come. That's what spirit is asking you to do right now. And that's where your contentment comes into play. Recognizing, oh my God, the nine of cups to the 10 of cups to justice. Hello, hello here. All right. Look at how far you've come. You're that much closer to reaching your 10 of cups. Many of you are in, I know it doesn't feel like it. Trust me, you guys, I'm in the same boat. But many of us are already in this nine of cups energy. And if you were to just sit back for a second and, and I'm going to, I am actually, I'm going to leave that there. Um, if you were to sit back for a second and instead of looking at all the things that you may have lost or seem to have lost, were to just turn around and look at the, the fact that all is in fact not lost because of the work that you're doing, because of the work that you're continuing to do. Look at that King of Swords. You'll find that, wait, I am in this nine of cups energy already. This nine of cups is right at this moment. This nine of cups is feeling like the energy of, of being grateful for what actually you do have in front of you. Being grateful again for how far you've come, right? Understanding, and this is something that I've been consciously reminding myself of lately. Understanding that if you can get through all of that shit, and be in this good place right now, if you can look around you and see all of the blessings and the beauty that's in life in your life right now, then you can look off into the future with optimism because you survived. You overcame. You rose above. So think about what you can accomplish moving forward. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. So. With that said, I want to look at the seven of summer or the seven of cups right now because there is a level of confusion. I want to help bring some sort of clarity to you in terms of this. So let's look at this now. What is the seven of cups here, please, spirit? Seven of cups, seven of summer. That's enough. Okay. The queen of wands and the six of pentacles. That's interesting. Ooh, with the two, da, ha, 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 there are those two cups. There are those two cups. Okay, so the seven of cups or the seven of summer here is, it, there is a level of, or there is an energy of questioning how, how do I be of service? How do I give back to the community? But also there, there, there is a, there's a level of confusion surrounding what actually would be a reciprocal energy, but a, a reciprocal balanced situation or relationship. But the strongest thing that I'm feeling here is that you're actually, you're in the process of attracting and or manifesting this. You're in this energy of the six of, of the six of pentacles with the queen of wands. Okay. Six of pentacles is reciprocity, um, the balance of give and take, being of service, balanced, harmonious, and generous relationships that are reciprocal, right? That are fully functioning two-way streets. You're in the energy of manifesting this. You are in the alignment with this, or you're getting into greater alignment with this there could really be some fine tuning that's happening for you with this queen of wands energy and, and uh, keep in mind you guys we're clarifying the seven of when uh, seven of summer or seven of cups here okay so there is definitely a level of fine tuning your alignment towards what is a reciprocal balanced healthy harmonious relationship I, <laughs> spirit keeps i keep i keep saying uh, in my head situationship we're not looking for situationships here I mean, maybe you are, I don't know. I'm not trying to pass judgment, but I know for a fact, I'm not looking for a situationship. I want a full blown relationship. Like, no, we ain't playing those petty games anymore. Right. Okay. Now for some of you that could be in reference to certain situationships that you've had in the past, coming to a greater understanding of it. Okay. I want to go a little bit deeper than, with that. So let's go a little deeper, please spirit. Six of Pentacles, Queen of Wands on that Seven of Cups. Mm-hmm. 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 Ooh. 
Yeah, look at that. There's the King of Swords again. Okay. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. And with this, I'm getting time is an essence as of the essence. Divine timing is at hand. Patience is necessary. You have that with the tower in reverse. All right. There has been a lot of work that's been happening lately to destroy these towers. We have the tower here twice. It came out first life experience here. It came out upright. Now it's in reverse because you are releasing, you're moving away. You're, you're, I want to hear, I wanted to just say you're gravitating out of some sort of tower moment or some sort of destruction of past circumstances. Okay. Uh, with that, you have, okay, you have the five of wands here. But the five of wands is representing, in this moment, is representing the chaos and uncertainty of creation. So that does bring us, circle us back to the confusion or, uh, uh, ooh, I heard misunderstanding. Okay, the confusion or misunderstanding, we'll get into that in a second, of the seven of cups here. But it's because you are in a process of coming into greater alignment. Queen of Wands, Six of Pentacles. You've got this Six of Pentacles reciprocal, excuse me, reciprocal energy on the mind, in the focus. That is the end game. So you have here with the Tower in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune upright, and the Five of Wands, you have a process of creating a new reality, changing your destiny, changing your goals, changing your direction, changing your fate. Okay? With the Five of Wands, that is a chaos. In this circumstance, it's chaotic energy. There was something, there was a word that I said, shoot, that I wanted to get into, but now I don't quite remember it. That's okay. Just keep your wits about you. King of Swords, all right? Work to continue, continue to work to see things as clearly as possible. To weed through the bulkaka, right? Okay, so I want to start closing this out for us. Um, I want to go to the Golden Universal Tarot and get us some practical guidance here as we move through this period. And then we're going to close out with our Oracle message, which... Oh, I think I want to go with the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle deck today. All right. All right. So spirit practical closing guidance for us, please. Nine of Wands, don't give up. Do not, oh, okay. Keep persevering. Look, guys, it may seem, and this is definitely something that I need to be hearing right now. It may seem that there are a shit ton of roadblocks in the way, but actually, look at how open and clear the space is, the air is. You have the Eight of Wands with the Nine of Wands. Do not give up because it's actually much clearer right now than it ever has been for you to make some serious moves some serious strides to really go forward and do the damn thing for yourself right oh my god whoa look at this the tower with the nine of cups in reverse but the tower is upright what okay and the sun i get it <clears throat> i get it um This is so funny. So what this is saying here is you might think that things aren't going right or things aren't going well. You might think, and okay, so there is a level of understanding that what we used to find satisfaction, contentment, or complacent, ha ha ha, complacency in, that's coming to an end, you guys. The tower with the nine of cups in reverse. But at the bottom of the deck is the sun. All right. This is a really optimistic energy. This is one of the best energies ever. This is like things on the surface, things may look pretty shitty right now, but actually it's the best thing for us at the moment. We just got to get through this, this period of strife. That's all. And like, come on, where, where have we not been in a period of strife? Like if you're on this journey, this spiritual awakening, awakening journey, like this shit ain't easy. Okay, this 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 is this is some intense shit, all right? But don't give up. Don't give up because the tower Look, we have the tower 3 times, you guys. Life experience here, the tower here while it was in reverse, okay, which is showing the breakdown of everything and now it's coming back out again. Allow things to happen. Allow things to just fall away. Give yourself the time, the space and the freedom to just be for a hot second. 
Don't worry about the circumstances. Don't worry about how things are going to work out. We have no control over that right now anyway. Right? We literally can do nothing but sit back and just watch the tower crumble. And that's really all that's necessary right now. Allow things to fall away and whatever surfaces as a, as a, as a result of it, just allow it to happen. Because it's breaking you out of your comfort zone. It's breaking you out of a sense of complacency. Okay, so this is not something that's just going to happen overnight. Like, these are some serious things that are that are heavily ingrained in us as a society. We have got to give ourselves, give ourselves, I mean, this is the change that we want, right? It's got to start somehow. So we've got to give ourselves the time, the space, and the energy, and the freedom to just be. Allow ourselves to get through this moment as best we can without any sort of extreme uh, stipulations or requirements or just don't stress yourself any more than you already naturally would be at this moment in time or in a certain situation or circumstance like this, right? I just saw 555 on the counter. Big change, you guys. Big, big change. And it is, just like everything else, it is, in fact, a process. All right? Cool. So let's close out this reading with some oracle guidance from the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins deck by Doreen Virtue. This is the second time I'm using this deck. I, re I did a reading. What did I use it for? Oh, was it the Twin Flame reading? I believe so. Doesn't matter. All right, closing oracle guidance for today. All right, Dossie's Goot. Dar she blows. What do we have today? Oh. Healing heart, you are a powerful, powerful healer. Keep up the great work. Okay, so I want to share something about this because part of me has been in this energy lately of, oh my God, I could be doing more, blah, blah, blah. But I've been so incapacitated at certain moments by all the purgy energy. There is literally nothing I could do but just like either sit in meditative state or just lay in bed and and allow myself to to navigate through the emotional waters right but then spirit kept reminding me eric you're meant to be here to help heal so not only are you healing on your own behalf you are actually facilitating healing on a collective scale and that's just like the rest of us here many of us many of you most likely i want to say a vast majority of those of you that are at least here on my channel and many others, of course, are in fact healers. And we're getting hit really hard by all of this energy because we have been sent here to help process it. We're not doing this on our own. We're not doing this alone. We're all in this together. We're all It's like we're all taking little, we have our, our assignments. We have our sections that we're working on processing. All right. Healing heart. When you're sick, Jeez, this is probably, I mean, I guess, whatever. When you're sick, what are you advised to do? To rest, to stay home, right? To not overexert yourself, to take care of your body, to drink fluids, to this, that, and the third. Okay, so humanity is going through a bit of an illness. The planet is, has been sick for a while because we've been destroying it. And now what's happening? We're all on this shutdown. We're all on this lockdown. And the planet is healing. My, my, would you look at that? Hmm. Hmm. So for you going through all this purging, the best thing for you to do is just to relax and let yourself work through the healing process. Okay. I want to read, see if there's more. What else can we glean? From? Oh, I went right to it. Okay. Deep within your heart, you are aware of your healing abilities. Perhaps you've received feedback from others about the way that your words or touch have helped them heal. By drawing this card, you're urged to take your healing work to the next level. 
you are also asked to purify your diet and thoughts so that higher frequencies of healing energy can flow through you. By opening to the next level, you'll notice a shift in the people or situations that come for your help, that come to you for help. You may find the number of healing opportunities increasing, or your clients may display a greater understanding of spirituality. Heaven wishes to support your healing work completely. If you'd like to further your education, work in a healing center, or increase your income, just ask and then be open to receiving. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And oh, and uh, sorry, my nails. And, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.